This video is being shared on social media platforms with the claim that a mobile phone can be charged with a few onions. On careful observation, we can see that the entire wire of the charger is not visible in the frame. Social media users have also expressed this doubt in the comment section. It is highly possible that two chargers were used in the video. The one on the lower side may have been connected to the power supply and the other wire which is on top connected to the onions which must have been lying just outside the frame. Let us now understand if there is a scientific possibility of charging a mobile phone battery with onions. Batteries are devices that store chemical energy which can later be converted into electrical energy. A single battery can consist of one or more electrochemical or dry cells. The electrochemical cell generates electricity from chemical reactions. It has two electrodes, an anode and a cathode, both made of two different metals. These are dipped into an electrolytic solution. Once a chemical reaction occurs in the cell, electrons start to flow from anode to cathode and the conventional current flows in the opposite direction, that is, from the cathode to the anode. This battery can be used to power up any device that is connected between the two electrodes. In 2007, a video titled How to Charge an iPod Using Electrolytes and an Onion was shared by a YouTube channel called Household Hacker. This video shows that dipping an onion into an energy drink which has electrolytes and sticking up a USB connector to the onion and the other end of the connector to the iPad can charge it up. The video generated a lot of interest and many people tried this. However, the video was made for entertainment which the channel itself said clearly. The same channel published a similar joke in 2016 as an April Fool's prank. This has been proven false in an episode of the Discovery Channel show Mythbusters. The video explains that this can only work by the principle of a wet cell battery, should it work at all. The Mythbusters video shows an experiment to check if the household hacker claims are valid, but no electricity passed through the onion. It is explained that even after soaking the onion, assuming it gets filled with electrolyte, two metal electrodes are necessary for the whole setup to work like a wet cell. Since only a USB is inserted, there is no chance of it working like a battery. Articles published on ABC News and The Guardian also say that charging a mobile phone with an onion is impossible with that kind of setup. John Edwards of the Royal Society of Chemistry explained to The Guardian that the science behind the idea isn't bad. You can generate an electric current from vegetables, but the video is a hoax. He explained that it cannot work because you need two electrodes to provide a reaction. The same principle can be applied to the video in the current viral post. We can conclude that since there are no electrodes, there is no chance of it working as a wet cell battery that can power a mobile phone. In 2014, Nokia collaborated with artist Caleb Charlin to demonstrate organic charging. He used 800 vegetables, the wet cell battery principle and the high school experiment potato cell to charge the Nokia phone. Here, he used two different metals to create this organic battery. In summary, as mobile phones cannot be charged using onions in the way shown in this video, this post is fake. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.